Here in this problem, there is a plate in the shape of a parallelogram and is acted upon by two couples. One couple is formed by these 21 Newton forces, which are parallel, having a distance of 0.4 meters between them and they are oppositely directed. The other couple is formed by 12 Newton forces. Their perpendicular distance is not shown and this couple let's call it m12 is in clockwise direction so m12 is in clockwise direction and the couple formed by 21 newton forces let's denote it as m21 will be in anti clockwise direction it will try to rotate the body in anti clockwise direction so we have two couples acting on this body one in anti-clockwise direction, another in clockwise direction. The part A of the problem asks us to find the moment of the couple formed by the two 21 Newton forces. So, the moment m21 would be equal to f times t, f is 21, and the perpendicular distance between the two forces is 0.4 meter. So, m21 would be fd, 21 times 0.4 would equal 8.4 newton meter in anti clockwise direction now part b of the problem says find the perpendicular distance between the 12 newton forces if the result end of the two couples is zero ad distance is d which is not known the angle alpha is not known therefore we do not know the perpendicular distance between the 12 newton forces but the information given to us is that the net couple due to these two couples is zero. That means the magnitude of M21 and M12 would be equal. So, M12 is 8.4 Newton meter. Obviously, it is in clockwise direction, but the magnitude is same as what we found out in part A. And therefore, the distance between them would be equal to 8.4 divided by 12 Newton the magnitude of the force. So, d12 that is the perpendicular distance between the two 12 Newton forces is 0.7 meter and that is the answer. Part C asks us to find the angle alpha if the resultant couple is 1.5 Newton meter clockwise and d is 1.05 meter that is now this distance is given as 1.05 meter and the resultant of these two couples is 1.5 newton meter clockwise so let's first do addition of these two couples and find out m12 so we have this equation resultant moment is equal to the sum of the two moments we have to take care of the sign convention so let's assume that clockwise is positive so resultant is 1.5 newton meter clockwise so it will remain positive m21 is anti clockwise therefore it will be minus 8.4 newton meter rearranging the terms we get m12 equal to 9.9 .9 newton meter in clockwise direction because that is positive so now we know moment of the couple formed by the 12 newton forces and therefore perpendicular distance between them would be equal to this divided by the force. Here in this figure you see the perpendicular distance ED has been denoted as D12 and this is the perpendicular distance between the two 12 Newton forces and equals 0.825 meter. And now from this right angle triangle AED we know this side and we know the hypotenuse, we can find sine of the angle alpha. So, sine alpha is the opposite side d12, which is 0 0.825 meters divided by the hypotenuse, which is 1.05, and this would yield alpha equal to sine inverse of this value will mean alpha equal to 51.8 degrees, and that is our answer.
in this problem, this is a plywood piece which is secured to the workbench by means of two nails located at points A and B, and a hole is being drilled by this drilling machine which imparts a couple of moment 12 Newton meter in clockwise direction. We have to find the forces acting on the nails at these two positions. This moment of 12 Newton meter tries to rotate the plywood piece in clockwise direction and its motion is obstructed by these two nails and in the process a force of F is exerted on the nail at point B and similarly a force of the same magnitude is exerted on the nail at point A. So, this force also is of the same magnitude as this one but opposite in direction. Let us write down. So, these are the forces acting on the nails. They are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, their lines of action are parallel. So, they form a couple and the moment of the couple would be same as the moment of the couple exerted upon the plywood by the drilling machine. So, the moment of this couple would also be 12 Newton meter. Here we show the same diagram. These are the forces acting on the two nails. You might ask if there is a couple of moment 12 Newton meter acting on this plywood piece, how come it is stationary? Well, the answer is that when the plywood piece exerts a force on the nail in this direction, it experiences force of equal magnitude in opposite direction. So, these two are the forces acting on the plywood piece exerted by the nails. So, they form the action reaction pair as per Newton's third law. And if you see carefully, these two forces also form a couple because they are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, and parallel to each other, and their moment is in anti clockwise direction. So, the plywood piece experiences two couples one in clockwise direction exerted by the drilling machine, another in anti clockwise direction due to the reaction forces. The net moment on the plywood piece is 0 and therefore, it is in rotational equilibrium and does not keep rotating, but during the drilling process these two nails experience a force all the time in these two directions. So, the moment of the couple comprising these two forces is 12 Newton meter, the distance between the two forces is 0.4, therefore, the force would be m upon d and would be equal to 30 newtons and that is the answer. Now, in part b, the nails are fixed at points b and c. Therefore, the forces on the nails would be in this direction and these two forces form a couple and the moment of the couple will be same as 12 newton meter which is again shown here and using the equation m equal to f d, where we know m, we know d, we can find out f which will work out to 40 Newton. That is the answer. In part c, the nails are at points a and c and the distance between them is 0.5 meters and therefore, the force experienced by the two nails in these directions would be 24 Newton and that is the answer. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.